G'day guys, quick video here uh, on centripetal acceleration slash centripetal force where we have a string that can withstand a force of 135 newtons before breaking. A 2 kilogram mass is tied to the string and whirled in a horizontal circle with radius 1.1 meters. What is the maximum speed the mass can be whirled at before the string breaks? Okay, to start with when you're doing any kind of physics question, we draw a like a quite a simple picture as you can see here and we enter in the information that we know. So we know that this is a two kilogram mass. Cool. We know that the radius is 1.1 and we know the maximum force that we can have is going to be equal to 135 newtons. Cool. So basically what we're going to have to do with this question is quite a simple one, hence the quick video. It's just we're going to plug in the numbers that we know and rearrange to solve for our velocity here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula, the centripetal force is equal to mv squared on r. I'm going to enter in my maximum braking force so I can find what speed it's going to require to break it. And then the speed that we're going to be allowed to go is any speed below that. So let's, let's see how that would work. So we know that the braking force is 135 newtons and that's going to be equal to 2 times whatever the maximum velocity is squared divided by our radius of 1.1. Now I can do a little bit of algebra and rearrange this to make V equal to the square root of 135 times 1.1 all divided by 2. Now if you guys don't get what I did there you need to brush up on your algebra ASAP. Now if you put that into a basic calculator you get a velocity figure of 8.62 meters per second and so this is our the answer that we're going to use. Now what we do then is we have to write a sentence which explains to the teacher or the examiner what the hell uh, this number even means. So what we can do is we're going to say therefore the mass can travel up to 8.62 Six two meters a second to the negative one before the cord breaks. Full stop. So this it's very important to actually write down what you've calculated, so the teacher doesn't see you as almost like a random number generator. You understand what you're doing. You understand how the formula relates to the answer. You understand the uh, process and the picture will aid the teacher in sort of assessing whether you understand something. Because if you can draw the picture and where all the forces are going, where the velocity is and how the uh, direction works, then um, you know you won't have any problem collecting full marks for a question like this. So I hope this quick video helped guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos almost every single day on physics, chemistry, maths, economics, accounting, you name it, I try and do it. Also, I have a few of my uh, bullshit skateboarding videos in there, which you can, you know, have a laugh at if you feel like it. But until next time, guys, enjoy your studies.